Skyler. If you want to use iPads in a classroom or in the studio or in an office to collaborate on something, a really cool app that I just found is called SyncPad. And SyncPad allows you to create a whiteboard and invite other people to join. So I'm just going to create one right now. Um, name my team or my students, whatever, you know, uh, Team X. Create. And then I can set up the whiteboard, you know, the X. Okay, cool. Tap create. I can create a password if I want to. Oh, no spaces. And it's loading the room now. And here I can draw. Now, somebody else who signed in to the room, which you can see right down here, they would go to that domain using the SyncPad application. And then they would also be able to do things like contribute text, hi, et cetera. And so that way we could communicate and collaborate whether we were in the same room or in different places altogether. So you could use that in the classroom as an educational tool. You could use that um, collaboratively to design things. You know, all sorts of options there. It's a really cool application. And uh, you know, just some more screenshots of it to show what people are doing. I think it's pretty neat. Um, then there are all sorts of other ways you could use an iPad to collaborate in the classroom. Um, Evernote would be a great option. So you know you can share notebooks with Evernote, and that way everyone in the classroom could all be looking at the same material at the same time. Um, you could do the same thing with something like Safari. You know, just direct all of your students to the same domain, the same web page, uh, and have them use the reader function in Safari in order to work together to read a current event article or something like that. But there are tons of different options. I think that um, the two that I've mentioned, you know, Evernote and uh, SyncPad, might be a really great start because they're both free. Check that out. I'm Skyler. Thanks for watching.